guys, Hoppy Hunting here. So today I'm back at a Paleocene site. So the fossils here are much older than Calvert Cliffs. They're gonna be about 57 million years old. So almost as old as the dinosaurs. And what I'm looking for today is Ototus obliquus. It's the species that evolved into the Megalodon. So it's the ancestor species and they look a lot different. They're smaller and they've got large cusps and no serrations. So that's the goal for today is to find a nice Ototus. But even if I don't, there are some nice big sand tigers you can find here, little Paleocene croc teeth. So I'm really excited to do some more hunting. So let's see what we can find. Let's go. First tooth of the day, right there. Nice sand tiger. Beautiful, very sharp. It's not a shark tooth, but I think this might be a really nice ray mouth plate with at least a couple rows right there. Yeah, it's got three of them. Awesome, look at that. Usually you just find the isolated pieces, little fragments, but this one's got a few rows. Sweet. Looks like another pretty nice sand tiger right there. Beautiful. Nice striations on the crown. First pretty good size tooth of the day. It's not no totus, but one of the larger sand tigers. Wow. Beautiful tooth. Look at that. It's awesome. Another pretty nice tooth. Right there, it looks like the tip stinged off. Yeah. Still not bad at all. Looks like another pretty good sized tooth. Not actually sure what it is yet. Could just be another big sand tiger. It could be a notatus. Let's see. Wow, that is a massive sand tiger. Let's wash it off. Woo! Big boy, look at that. Might be two, almost two. That's a gorgeous tooth, wow. Awesome. Just the root of this tooth is sticking out right there. The rest of it is buried. Hopefully it's whole. No, just the root. Can't win them all. Another sand tiger just laying out. Well, I finally spotted an Ototus, but it's a small one and it looks broken, unfortunately. But yep, definitely an Ototus. See that big cusp? Let's find a big one. Well, I was just on my way to go meet up with Walt and I spotted a tooth that I must have missed when I walked this beach back and forth. It's a nice big Ototus. It might be my new biggest. It looks like it's at least two and a half, I'd say. It's not perfect. They're very hard to get flawless. The tips break off a lot and the cusps break off pretty easily, but it's still a big tooth. So I'm super excited. Check this out. Do you see it? It's right there. Nice big Ototus. Let's see how much of it is there. Oh, no cusp on that side. Uh, it's got it on that side though. Wow. What an absolute beauty. That's a nice big tooth. Oh, it's thick. It's got to be a lower. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful Ototus. Look at that ancestor of the Megalodon. Awesome tooth. There's my trip maker. Just cleaned it off. Look at that tooth. Wow. That's probably feeding damage there. That tip probably broke off when it bit something. I wish it had that other cusp, but it's still a really nice tooth. Wow. Awesome Ototus. I think it is my new biggest. Looks like another nice sand tiger. Hopefully all of it's there. Right there. Sweet. It's perfect. Look at that. That's a nice one. Little fish vert right there. Cool. This is pretty cool. Just a giant concretion on the beach full of turritella, these sea snails. You can see the cross section of a lot of them. Pretty cool. Another sand tiger hiding in the turritella. Look at 
Yeah, another nice one. Speaking of Turritella, this is one of the nicer, big, complete ones I've seen. So pretty. This beach is just littered with literally millions of these things, and they're all fossils from the Paleocene. Really, really cool. Looks like a little posterior otitis. It's got both cusps. Ooh, wow. That's a nice tooth. Wow, that's pretty cool. So this was in the back of the mouth. Ancestor of the Megalodon. Sweet. Well, it's just one row this time, but that's a nice big piece of array plate. I'd love to find a complete one. Once you start getting some wave action, the density of fossils goes way up. But there's one tooth. There's another. There's another. There's just tons of them. Looks like one of the little croc teeth right there. Yep. Nice. First one of those today. Most of the teeth at this site are usually just your typical black or gray, but this tooth, look at the color on this thing. Look at that orange. It almost looks like a mini Otodus, but I'm pretty sure this is a mackerel shark, which actually evolved into Otodus, but they coexisted for some time. But I believe this is a mackerel. Beautiful tooth though. Another sand tiger in the high and dry, right there. Not bad, nice cusp. Oh, nice sand tiger, right there. It's a really slim one. Very nice. Looks like a little Otonis, right in the surf. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, not an Otonis. But wow, look at the pattern on the crown. Some kind of sand tiger. Wow, that's really nice though. All right guys, so we're about ready to call it a day. The water is coming in, it's pretty high now and we're really not finding much. So we're about to go back to the launch point and head home. And when I get back, I'll show you guys everything I found today. See you then. All right guys, I'm back home. So let's go over the finds from today. At Paleocene sites, most of what you get are these nice pointy sand tigers. There's various species. Some of them have the striations like this one on the enamel that look pretty cool. But I got some nice ones of those. Really nice sand tigers. The preservation at this site is just incredible. I've got a couple big ones. This is a nice wider one, probably a different species. And this was the biggest one I got. Just over two inches. Really nice tooth. I got a little posterior otodus right here. So this is the species that eventually would evolve into Megalodon, the largest shark to ever exist. Really nice little tooth. Got some fish verts. Got this little crocodile tooth right here. Only found one of these today. That's a pretty nice one. Some of the shark teeth come out with this really nice orange color on the root. This is a mackerel shark. Beautiful tooth. Got a bunch of ray plates. I even got a few that had several rows, like this one. Didn't find a complete one, but this is as close as I got. You usually just find isolated rows like this. Got this nice big turritella. There are literally millions of these on the beach, so I usually don't collect them, but this was a nice big complete one, so I thought I'd keep it. And then of course, the find of the day. This beautiful Otodus obliquus tooth. The ancestor of the Megalodon. One of the cusps is broken off, which is a little unfortunate, but very common for that to happen. The tip also dinged off, but I think that's feeding damage. 
And if you look, you can see how thick it is in side view. Definitely a lower jaw tooth. Really dried out nice. Look at the colors on the crown. Just beautiful. Definitely my trip maker. And here is a look at the final display. Very successful day. All right, guys, well, it was a great day of collecting and I got my goal of getting a nice big Ototus tooth, so I couldn't be any happier with the haul. Conditions today on the beach were just awesome. So most of the teeth that I found were just laying right out, super easy to find and collect. So I had a great time out there and I'm so glad I was able to bring you guys with me. If you wanna get yourself some hoppy hunting merch like this hoodie, make sure you click on the link in the description to bring you to my online store. But that'll do it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to leave a like and a comment down below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to join the Hoppy Hunting family. I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. Hoppy hunting.